Okay, this is a hot tech tester, HTT dash OYA. Let's be introducing this instrument. Uh, so here, this is the front panel, and here is the test area. Two grips, sample area, and on this side, you can see the power cable switch and the communication port to connect with the computer. You need the RS232 COM port, the COM, COM cable, and this is the port for the foot pedal. To connect with it, you can use the foot pedal to start the test. And this is the calibration part, which you can put uh, something here um, to hold the weight. And uh, here is the limit switch part, just uh, in case for an accident. And uh, here, this is the uh, emergency stopper. And uh, here are two temperature controllers. By these two accessories, you can do the temperature control. And here is the left seal and uh, the right seal. Here is this is the normal, the main he, uh, he seal job. This is the buttons for selecting different kind of items. So this instrument can do the peel, the strings, and the hot tech and he seal. So reset button can help you to keep recover from the uh, uh, system error. This is the display. And uh, this is the buttons for uh, different operations. And here is the pressure gauge. So you can adjust the pressure by this knob. Okay, power on this instrument. And you will see there is a warm up time here. It shows you good. There will require 10 minutes to finish the warm up. After 10 minutes, and we'll come to this uh, display. That means the warm up time is finished. And by this knob, if you want to do the hot tech, make sure the speed is on hot tech if you want to do the hot tech. And you have to select the hot tech or heat seal to activate this temperature controllers. So press the hot tag, then you can temperature controllers start working. These two controllers is very easy to be operated. Just these two buttons to decrease and increase the values. Adjust, adjust them to the video values is fine. This is the operation about the temperature. Okay, now is the operation of the parameters of the test. So press the setup button first, and you can see the first LT, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, and T6. And this is the left temperature. So this is only for showing in the report. So you need to make sure the temperature here is the same as this one. And next one is just like the right heat seal job. And this is the pressure. Let's see how to make the pressure set up. Press the test button and the jaw will meet up and you can adjust by this knob to adjust it to the varying pressure. So this is the megapascal. Now it is 0 0.4 megapascal, like 400 kPa. Okay, after confirmed, you can go to the next one, F0. F0 means the width of the sample. 50 millimeters. F1 means the uh, speed. Actually, if you do the hot tech, you don't need to, uh, you have to adjust the speed to the right one, according to here. Yeah. If you want to the, uh, okay. The F2 means the uh, sample's number. 
So after F2, the F3, you don't need to care anymore. So all the other values, uh, we don't need to set. T1 to T6 is for the different sessions, sections of the time set up. You just need to know the T2 and T3. For the other T time, you don't have to uh, change them. You can just set as the uh, default value. So T2 means the heat seal or the hot tax seal time. That now it is 0 0.5. You should adjust the time by plus or minus button to, uh, to the uh, expected value. And uh, T3 means the cooling time, means after the uh, sample uh, is sealed, you have to wait for uh, distance of time to, uh, to cool it down. So this is also according to the standard, adjusted to what you need. Before start a real test, there are some points you have to pay attention. First, the sample strip must be 40 millimeters length. Now is to install the sample. Pass the sample through the hook in the middle part. And clamp them. Okay, now we finish the sample installation. But there is another point you have to know. We need to make sure the two ends of the sample just on the left and right curve. Now start the test. Test finished. Remove the sample. Press return to make the grip back and we'll stop at this position. Okay, the other point is when you receive this instrument, this limit switch the position is already set. Never try to change the position. So that will make sure the grip at start point to the zero point. If it is not meet the zero point, you can change limit switch to make sure before it start the test, it is always at a zero position. But if it is still uh, it is always uh, at a zero posi position, it's forbidden to adjust this part. So at first time, when you receive the instrument, you start the test. The grip is at a zero point, and you can not see the hook. The hook will come down when the test starts. At this status, I mean, if you can see the hook, it's forbidden to adjust the pressure. It's forbidden to adjust the pressure. So if you need to adjust the pressure, when it is at this status, you have to start a test. So you can see the hook disappear. and press the stop button to stop it in time. And this status, you can now see the hook 
so you can adjust the pressure. Now you can adjust the pressure.